Hi, I'm Taylor Broad, President of the Florida Gulf Coast University Pokemon Club. I'm here to tell you about our Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire release party on November 22nd. Now, to talk to you about specific event details regarding our tournaments, I have Tia Francisco from Southwest Florida Pokemon. Southwest Florida Pokemon is very happy to have been invited by FGC Pokemon to assist in the Ruby and Sapphire event as representatives of Play Pokemon to say goodbye. We have a number of events planned. We have two tournaments that are currently sanctioned for Play Pokemon and another tournament that is sanctioning pending. The two sanctioned events are a fun video game event using Ruby and Sapphire, using your in-game team. Um, don't know exactly yet if we're going to be doing singles, doubles, triples, or what, because we don't know what Ruby and Sapphire, the game itself, will allow us to do. So be ready for anything, but it should be a lot of fun. It is going to be home regional, so make sure you have a regional dex legal team. No EVs. And no major legends. No Beyonce. Sorry. The TCG event, which is also sanctioned, is going to be unlimited constructed. Any US printed deck from the original base set, that means Haymaker for those Gen 1ers out there, all the way up through the current Phantom Forces is legal for this event. It has to be the US English printing. No Frenches, no Japanese cards. You cannot use the souvenir decks that just released. Unfortunately, I know, I'm so sorry. And you cannot use Ancient Mew. And there's a limited select list of other cards that you can't use that are all listed on the FGCU um, uh, Facebook event for this. The actual invite thingy that everybody committed, they go to the page. The page, go to the Facebook page. Um, but it should be, you know, massively bang up fun because we have, gosh, what is this, almost 20 sets now, 30 sets, I guess, that we can use. We should see a really nice variety of decks and a really nice variety of skill levels. It should be one of those great fun time had by all kind of things. Okay, we've had some requests for an additional video game event using X and Y, and we've also had some requests for um, an additional X and Y variant using Smog Animals. Now, Two Drop Game Shop, and I understand Zach's going to be on here somewhere at some point, is doing a Play Pokemon Premiere Challenge as a World Qualifying event on Sunday. So instead of doubling up on events and doing 2014 Pokemon BBC, I thought, you know, hey, let's have a nod to all the wonderful Poke Trainers at FPCU who so like to use Smuggin sets and do a Smuggin variant set. The details of that, again, are going to be on FPCU's Facebook page, so or both well, FPCU Pokemon Club's Facebook page. So make sure you hit that up to get all the full details of exactly what all events we're going to be doing. We have all kinds of fun stuff planned. We got Monopoly, we got Pokemon Tabletop Adventures demos, Fall Brawl's coming. For you eagles out there who know what that is, you guys are going to go nuts. They got at least three different versions of Smash they're going to be bringing. They got Pokemon in it, they're coming to the party. We got, gosh, I can't even remember what all we got. We got so much stuff going on. We got a hidden ability Pokemon distribution going on. Custom bread, we've got Bagan, we've got Phoebus, we've got, I don't even know what, Drought Tales, just all kinds of stuff. There's a whole listing on, again, on the Facebook page, on the actual event that's linked there right at the top, it's a pin post. Like it, find the event, join the event, come in, get some swag. One of the unique things about this event is that we have vendors. I have Zach here from Two Drop Game Shop, and so Zach, what are you actually going to bring to this event? I'm bringing tons of Pokemon memorabilia and packs and a lot of other things as well that we have at our show. Alright, sweet. And I understand that your shop also does uh, Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh! and all that other stuff? Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh! D&D, we do a bunch of things. Any, what, anybody likes a certain event, they can just stop on it and let us know. We'll try to make it happen. Alright, perfect. That's absolutely it. Uh, thank you so much for coming out to our event. Okay. Thankfully for everyone, the fun is starting early. On November 20th, which is the Thursday before the release, we are hosting an XY tournament at two different GameStop locations, one at Gulf Coast Town Center and the other at Coconut Point Mall. Both events will be starting around 9 o'clock, however, I want to see about getting people out there at around 8.30, 8.45, just to make sure that we get you all registered so we can start round one pretty early. Both of those tournaments will have a hidden, uh, hidden ability Pokemon distribution, which is pretty good. Also, we, uh, we're having a little fun. We're betting the rules on VGC. We're going national decks. So we may be doing, we're gonna be doing national decks. Mewtwo and Deontay are both allowed. Unfortunately, Darkrai, yep, Darkrai, you, I'm so sorry. I feel so sorry for you, you're not allowed. I mean, come on, come on. 
Okay, we all know Dark Rye. Uh, we all know the reason why Dark Rye is not allowed. Let's just leave it at that. Also, what is better than free movies? Yes, we got Lucario, Mr. Mew, and possibly some other specials, thanks to, of course, Southwest for Pokemon, Tia Francisco. Yeah, I think she forgot to mention that little part there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So right now, I'm standing outside the Cohen Center ballroom, which is where our event will be hosted on Saturday, November 22nd, um, at the usual time of 1.30. Now, you may be asking yourself, how do you get here? Well, uh, the, Cohen ball, uh, the Cohen Center Ballroom is actually located inside the Cohen Center, which is basically our main student union on campus. That's where the Office of Student Involvement, Dean of Students Offices, DP of Student Affairs Offices, and many other departments here on campus. We also have two ways you can get to the Cohen Center. According to our map here, we have our main entrance, which is FGCU Boulevard. The other is FGCU Lake Parkway West, which is our northern entrance that carries you along to North Lake Village and our athletic facilities. Now, according to the map here, uh, Marker 17 is the Cohen Center. So the easiest way for you to uh, get to the Cohen Center is quite simply, uh, if you're coming from the north end, take FGCU Lake Parkway West all the way to the main FGCU Boulevard North Loop and make a left at the light into Parking Garage 1 which is our main event parking garage. As for the, our main entrance, if you're coming from the south, it's sort of like the Miami area, you would take FGCU Boulevard, all the way, make, hang a left, and then continue all the way around past the Cohen Center into Parking Garage 1. Alternatively, you can also park, go to Parking Garage 3. However, I worked out with campus reservations that you would go to Parking Garage 1. Once you get again inside the Cohen Center, you will see signs leading you to the second floor. You have the stairs which are located on your screen right now, or there is an elevator inside for your convenience. At either rate, you should have an easy time getting to the university. Hey everyone, Carl Herbert here. For more information on these events and more to come, go to facebook.com forward slash FGCU Pokemon. You can also contact us at Pokemon at eagle.fgcu.com. Thank you.